Hello guys, welcome back to the channel for another video, and today guys I'm going to be bringing you another FIFA 16 squad builder, so if you guys can leave a like that would be insane and do subscribe if you're new. Now guys, the squad I've made is round the newest inform Roman Aramenko is in the latest team of the week, and guys, he is incredible. I've played three or four games with this team, but I'm going to show you the match highlights of two at the end of this squad builder. But yeah, Roman Aramenko, 78 plays, 81 shooting, 85 passing. I've rated Aramenko for a couple of seasons now, and oh my gosh, he is insane. 82 dribble, 77 physical, 4 star weak foot and 4 star skills which is really really nice. We've got quite a few 4 star skills in the team. And in 4 games he scored only 8 goals and about half of them were incredible long shots. Now I'm going to start from the goalkeeper. This is actually a 2 league hybrid. So yeah, it's really really nice. So in that I do get one of my most reliable goalkeepers on this game which is Gian Luigi Buffon. 85 diving, 89 position, 83 reflex, 79 handling, 71 kick gain and 49 speed. Very, very strong keeper. I go to him to every Serie A team. And on the left, we do have Barzagli, and on the right, we do have Miranda. Both of these, I believe, are over six foot, six foot one, six foot one, both six foot one. Both got very high pace, very high defending, and very high physical. As you can see, Miranda also does have that as well. You can also get the 86 Miranda if you if you want to as well. And the CDM which links these both together is one of my most reliable CDMs as well, which is Felipe Melo. 73 pace, 71 shooting, 74 passing, 74 dribble, 79 defending, 84 physical. He's quite underrated this year, I think, and he got one assist in four games. But yeah, he's got stats over 70 in every single one. Now, the left back, I went with an Italian left back in the Russian league from Zenit, which is... Domenico Crisquito, 82 pace, 75 dribbling, 79 defending, 77 physical, 73 passing. He didn't get me any goals or assists, but he was a really, really nice left back. My right back was Mario Fernandez, 81 pace, 70 dribbling, 71 passing, 81 defending, 77 physical. He's 6 or 2, so he's quite clunky when he moves, but he did get 3 assists in 4 games, which was really, really nice. Left centre mid was What's his name? Axel Witzel, 71 pace, 74 shooting, 77 passing, 82 dribble, 80 physical, 74 defending. As you can see, another player with over 70 in every single stat and also has 4 star skills, which is really nice. So Felipe Melo only has 3 star, but the next player we're putting in also has 4 stars as well. So the next player we're putting in is Danny, and he's got 85 pace, 86 dribble, 80 shot, and 83 passing. 4 star, 4 star. <sighs> And it's got me three goals in four games, and Witzel got me three assists in four games. Now my left wing, which I did enjoy using and I've never used before, was actually Oleg Shatov. 87 pace, 82 dribble, 74 shooting, 76 passing. Four star, four star again, which is really nice. Three goals and two assists in four games. Right wing is when I ever build a Russian league squad, I always go to this guy, Quincy Promise. He's hopefully getting a team of the season apparently, so hopefully he will. 88 pace, 80 shooting, 72 passing, 82 dribble. 4 star, 4 star again, 2 goals, 2 assists in 4 games was really, really nice. So yeah, this is the team guys, this most standout player, probably has to be Aramenko, he's just so good. You can play him as a centre forward, cam, centre mid. I'm so tired. Oh. But yeah guys, you can literally play him in any position apart from CDM and striker, I feel. I don't feel he's fast enough for a striker to be honest. <coughs> but his long shots are insane. Next guys, I apologize for not uploading recently, I've been really really busy like revising for my driving theory test which I actually had the other day and sadly I failed by 4 marks on the ferry but hopefully I'll be doing that again soon. I've just been busy sorting out other stuff like for my channel and just organizing my room and everything, literally sorting out every single Pokemon card I have and that. If you guys didn't know I actually run a second channel which is like a Pokemon channel, there'll be linked down in the description to that if you guys want to go check that out. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the highlights from these games I actually played with this team. Like I said, I'm only producing two match highlights. But yeah guys, if you have enjoyed, please make sure to do drop a like, do subscribe if you are new, and I shall see you guys in my next video.